Dull. Now there will be something interesting. Hey, Grandma, don't sleep. Oh, what am I? Here's the first task. Pancakes. What are you waiting for? Start cooking. Oh, this is my signature dish. Let's not waste time. My granddaughter has been hungry for a long time. Turning on the stove. We're taking a little. Getting the dough. And cooking it. It is very simple. So the first pancake is ready for my granddaughter. I've got it! Well, no fantasy. I'll make the brightest pancakes for my sister. She'll definitely like my idea. Let's pour it in. And now let's add some color. And another drop. Mix well. Wow! It looks really cool! Now we're going to the frying pan! It seems to be ready! Hurry up on the plate before it burns! I'll make pancakes of all colors of the rainbow! Awesome! Well, I'll decorate the pancakes with butter and maple syrup! Yeah! Delicious! How beautiful they are! So colorful! I'll add marshmallows to them, and I'll definitely win! That's yummy! Perfect! Just a masterpiece! Already drooling! Okay. I'll add more color sprinkles, and I can serve it! It turned out cool! It is hard for, for children to eat sweet, so I'll decorate my dish with a poached egg. We take a pot of water and put it on the stove. Be sure to make a whirlpool in it and pour a raw egg into boiling water. That's the whole secret! I'll add some ham to the pancakes and decorate it with salad. Our dish is almost ready. Carefully take out the egg and put it on the pancakes. <laughs> The final touch, sprinkle with parsley and you can serve it! I'm proud of myself! Ugh, disgusting! Are you done? Then let's try! Wow, they're so delicious! I think I'll start with this one! Mmm! It's pretty tasty! Come on! Wow, these are so bright! <laughs> Very tasty! This is clearly my favorite one! So what do we have here? Ew! What a horror! This is not going to work! The color pancakes win! It's very tasty! Hooray! Now I want pizza! Oh yeah! Let's okay. do it! Good choice! First, I'll cut out a piece of dough. I'll take tomato paste and thoroughly smear it on our pizza. I'll have to do it carefully. Like that. It's good that my brush is always at hand. With its help, cooking is much faster. Rub the cheese well. It will turn out very tasty. And finally, we're taking pepperoni. The pizza is almost ready. What are you doing? Oh. Oops. Oops. Oh, what a clumsy fellow you are. Ugh, my pizza is gone. What? Is this for me? Thank you so much! I have an idea. I'll make a sweet pizza and it'll be the coolest. Okay. I'll add marshmallows instead of sauce. The pizza will be very tasty. What do we have here? Skittles! It's perfect. I'll use it for the filling. It's perfect. Oh, come on! Hmm, we need to come up with something unusual. Hey, I have an idea. I'll paint my pizza black. Add a little dye and smear it all around. I'll use a brush for that. 
The base for my black pizza is ready. We'll take the tomato sauce and spread it evenly over the dough. Oh man! Almost done. I've got it. It's turning out great. <laughs> of course, what a pizza without cheese. Okay. It definitely cannot be extra. There it is. Yeah. It remains to add the toppings. <laughs> I think seafood is perfect for such an unusual pizza. Mm. Just lovely. Awesome. Look at that. Yeah. Our chefs are ready to send our pizzas to the oven. Ready. Hot pizza can be served on the table. Oh no! What happened to my pizza? It's ruined! <laughs> and my pizza is fine. What a pleasant smell! It's time to try it! Wow! What kind of weird pizza is this? Is it black? And why are there shells on it? Ew! Wow! What a bright pizza! Let's try it! It's weird, but it'll do! What's next? This is my favorite pepperoni pizza! How delicious! This pizza wins! Thank you, granddaughter! Bon appetit! Now I want ice cream! I will make the most delicious ice cream for my granddaughter. Of course, I'll add a cake to it. I can already imagine how she will like my dessert. Okay, let's start. The most important thing is to finally chop each piece. Therefore, we take the blades and start grinning the cake as soon as possible. What is that? Why am I covered in sponge cake? Young man, why are you allowing yourself? Oh, sorry, I got a little carried away. <laughs> oh, what could be more simple? I'll make the best ice cream. Yes, perfect! However, as always, it's time to add decorations. I'll rub some orange peel. Everyone likes orange color. And, of course, a mint leaf. And now, my secret ingredient. I'll add steaming water. Oh, really? How beautiful! She came up with nonsense again and is happy. You have to cook with love. This is the only way the dish will become the most delicious. Um, it seems that something went wrong. Oh, this modern trendy dishes. Almost done. Okay. It remains to pour my favorite syrup and I can treat my granddaughter. Oh, that's it. Beautiful. Well, the ice cream is ready. It remains only to put it in a bowl and rock it. Okay. Yep, I think I'm on the right track. It looks cool. And whipped cream. My sister just loves it. Oh, wow. Really? I'll take Skittles for decoration. They're so bright. Cool. The ice cream will be the most beautiful one. And also some of our favorite Oreos and add some sweet straws. Hmm, something is missing. Wow! Chocolate syrup! Can I borrow some? Okay. Great! The final touch is done. I've got it! Well, are you ready to show off your ice cream? Then go ahead. Where to start? Wow, how many things there are! Let's try it. This is the most delicious ice cream in my life! Cool. Very tasty! So, what do we have here? Um, why is there a leaf on it? It's kind of strange. Let's leave it out. Ew, what a horror! I don't want to eat it! Hey, you! Let's try another one. Oh, it's weird. But quite tasty. Oh, man. The winner is this ice cream. Yeah, I won! Oh, come on. 
car. What does my grandson want? French fries. Great, I'll cook the most delicious potatoes. First, you need to pour the oil into the pan. And now cut the potatoes and fry them properly. Grandma, it doesn't really look like french fries. <laughs> For the best. Then I'll win this round. So, I'm going to peel the potatoes. Oh, um, it didn't work out very well. We need a special peeler. Yes! Now it's going to work. Hmm. Yeah, that's how you need to cut potatoes. One, two, and you're done. And no one makes fries in a frying pan. After all, this is a deep fryer. We put potatoes and fry it in oil. There we go. Just look at this golden crust. Great. Oh, where are my potatoes? Did I peel it all off? What do I do? Don't worry, dear. But what potatoes are without sauce? Ketchup is not for me. I'm the chef. And all the best chefs in the world cook tomato paste on their own. Well, here's a masterpiece. Perfect french fries. Everyone has already fried the potatoes and I have these skins. What do I do? I know. Why suffer if you can just order delivery? And here are the potatoes. Oh. Mm, homemade potatoes. French fries from the chef. Wow, so many delicious things. Except for this one. Mm, and these potatoes look delicious. I'll try it. Oh, how spicy! I don't want spicy. What do we have here? Mmm, delicious. I like these french fries. Hooray, I won! That's it. So, so, what are we cooking now? I want scrambled eggs. Easy. Every dish should be cooked with love. Therefore, my scrambled eggs will be in the shape of a heart. You need to fry the sausages and then break the egg. It turned out just wonderful. Awesome! The bigger the fire, the faster it gets fried, right? The stove to the maximum, and now the egg. Oh, um, the shell has fallen. Maybe it'll be unnoticeable. It's even better this way. No, you can still see the shell. We need to come up with something. I'll mix it up. Oh, honey, something's obviously gone wrong. Then I'll add milk. Now you definitely can't see anything. Watch and learn. This is how real chefs cook. Down with a frying pan, we're going to need a toaster. I'll chop the onion and garlic. Then an avocado. I'll mix it all together. Great. And now I'll use a blender. It turned out great. We need to spread it on the toast. Like that. Now it's the egg time. One will be quite enough. I'll break it into a bowl. And put the bowl in a saucepan with boiling water. That's what a wonderful egg I got. It remains only to serve the dish beautifully. Amazing! The final touch. Like that. Wow, it turned out to be really cool. I need to serve a dish too. Ketchup and mussels will do. Honey, are you sure? Ready? We'll see, we'll see. It doesn't look good. Wow, a heart. Grandma, this fried egg is definitely yours. Down with a fork. I want to take it with my hands. Mmm, delicious. 
And what do we have here? It looks interesting. And the taste? Mmm, yeah, something strange. Granny definitely won. Oh, grandson, I'm so glad. What are we going to cook this time? Pizza. Pizza? Something complicated. And how do I cook it? Probably need to knead the dough. Mm, it worked. Or not really. Oh, why is it so sticky? Well, well, I have an idea. Take my dough, dear. Thank you, Grandma. But what about you? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll need a new dough. All you need to do is mix a few ingredients. And I'll pour the finished dough into a hot frying pan. It'll turn out to be a wonderful pizza base. Then I'll pour ketchup and add healthy vegetables. And some cheese. While there, it remains only to wait. Yeah, who cooks pizza like that? Special corn flour is needed for the base. Only professionals like me know this. Then knead the dough. And now we need to form the bases. To do this, let's fly the dough. Wow. Oh, I want it that way too. Come on, fly. Oops, it fell. Well, now it's all dirty. How to fix it? I know, a little disguise won't hurt. A little ketchup. A little bit of olives next. Pepper. And sausages. And now you can fold everything. And of course, press it down. What a nightmare. I wish I hadn't seen it. Down with the vegetables. Tomato paste, pepperoni, and cheese. Nothing superfluous. And now I'll put the pizza in the microwave. Let it bake. It will turn out incredibly good. A microwave oven? The toaster will be enough. I would like to stuff it. Mm, yeah, it didn't turn out how I expected. And I did it perfectly. However, it couldn't be otherwise. Here's my pizza. Here is mine. And my masterpiece. Well, let's try. It seems that someone wanted to poison me. This is terrible. But this looks good. I'll try it. And it tastes pretty good. Wow! Mmm, this pizza is just perfect! And the most delicious one! Who else could have won if not me? Come on! I want pancakes! I'm a pancake master! Easy, I'll make the fire stronger! Great! And now carefully pour out the dough! It is very important to turn it over on time! I don't understand why you should make a lot of small pancakes if you could just make one big one. Besides, an ordinary pancake is boring. But with gummies, it's just great. Hmm. Oh, the gummies have melted. Yeah, who would have thought? Okay, I'll make another pancake. This time with M&M's. And another one? Well, multicolored sprinkles. And I'll pour maple syrup on the pancakes. And they're good. Well, we must not lag behind. I know. If you add Nutella to the dough, the dough will turn out to be chocolate. The main thing is to mix well. And I'll put a piece of chocolate in the center. Great. The chocolate is melting right in the center. Turn it over. Wait a little. Great. Berries to decorate pancakes. And now I'll pour strawberry syrup on top. Just wonderful. It looks perfect. Ready? Baked with love. The best pancakes in the world. You like mine the most. That's what we're going to find out. Hmm. Ugh. 
It's disgusting. And Granny's pancakes? Mmm! Delicious! So, so, what has the chef prepared? Mmm! Great! But Grandma won anyway. Hooray! Start the culinary challenge. I want a donut with frosting! Not a question. Grandma will cook everything for you. It's easy. Wow, Grandma, when did you have time to knead the dough already? Experience comes to those who have been practicing for years. I have a special mold to cut them out of the dough. And for frying, I'll take more oil. So the donut will come out juicy inside and crispy outside. I wonder if I can do the same. What's complicated here? You take a mold and cut out the dough. That's it. Oh, honey, be careful. You're scaring grandma. <laughs> mm, then you need to take the oil, right? I remember that I need to pour more in since I poured a lot. We have to put on the fire. I'll make great donuts. Mm, let's go. Oh, what's going on? Oh, help! How much smoke? <laughs> oh. The kitchen is no place for children. I'm almost 12! And I can handle the smoke! Here, take it! There you go! Oh, I have to turn it off! Oh, I think it's okay. But what my donuts have turned into? This is no good. We'll have to throw them away. Oh, Jane, you scare grandma so much! What's complicated here, I don't understand. Have everything ready. Donuts are delicious, rubby. And as a filling, I'll add strawberry sauce. And now we need to dip the donut into the icing. I've already prepared it in advance, and now… the final touches. It turned out well. Grandma will not be able to make it as beautiful. But who said that grandma will not succeed? I know the secret of good donuts. Powdered sugar. <laughs> mm, what should I do? And there are no more products left. Except for this cheese. Hmm, it seems that I have a brilliant idea. The cheese is also stringy as the dough, so I'm going to make cheese donuts out of it. There we go. I'll add some sprinkle of chips crumbs. Get some chips! Oh, what's going on? An earthquake? No, it's your granddaughter messing around. Calm down. I'm not messing around. I'm cooking for baby Gloria. So, I can roll a donut in it now. It's coming out great. But there's something missing. I know. To make the donut tastier, you need to fry it well. And it's better right there, on the stove, without a frying pan. Because it's more fun that way. Jane, how much you can indulge. So which dish will win the first round? Maybe homemade donuts from grandma. Or donuts and frosting from the chef. Or maybe a cheese tray from sister Jane. <laughs> My eyes are running wild! Such beautiful pink donuts! It's so delicious! They have my favorite strawberry filling! Mm. Mm, they look… normal. Oh. Hmm. And the taste? Also regular. I'm not impressed. Wow, what an interesting donut! We need to try it. This cheese! It stretches and melts in your mouth! Oh. Very good! But which one should I choose? Mmm… Well, let's think… Okay, strawberry donuts have one! I knew that. What? And now I want to eat a salad. Wow! What salad? It's Caesar salad, the most famous salad. I can do that. Now I'm going to chop everything into small pieces. Oh dear. Stop acting like that, young lady. In the kitchen, you need to be very careful. Especially with a knife in your hand. Vegetables need to be carefully cut and beautifully arranged. And the chicken. Delicious chicken. We need to add it to the vegetables. I won't say that. Now I'll show you what a beautiful salad serving is. And for this, I'll send a whole bunch of greens to the blender. Now I'll add some water to it. And let's mix it. Uh, green porridge! It's not porous, Jane. It's high cuisine. The resulting mixture should be cooled quickly to make jelly. And put it on a plate. Let's do it. Wow! That's interesting. Yes, may I? But now you can add vegetables to the dish. And cut the breast fully. But that's not all. A small bottle of oil. After all, beauty lies in the details. Oh, who's spoiling my dish? 
You can't spoil a dish with cheese, hmm. right, Jane? Yeah, Grandma. But what about me? I didn't have time to cut the vegetables. Jane, you're messing around again. Oh, what a horror. It's like a mountain of leftovers. Such a dish will definitely not win. We need to come up with something. I'm going to make you a salad, Gloria. And you don't need to cut anything. It's enough to break it into small pieces. And jelly eyes and marshmallows. I want to add more marshmallows. And that's it! Oh. oh, such beautiful and delicious dishes our participants have turned out to have. But will Glory like them? We'll find out right now. <laughs> and I'll start with… um… this green jelly thing. Funny. I'll try it. What a mess! No, I'm giving the salad a dislike. And this salad looks quite normal. Simple salad. Simple taste. Nothing special. Okay. Let's move on. Whoa. Wow! How cool! It's a marmalade gum jelly salad. Mm, how delicious! I really like it. I choose this one as the winner. Yeah, I like it. Hooray! I knew it! Give me a high five! Gloria, come on. I want to eat fried eggs. <laughs> it couldn't be more simple. Grandma can handle it. Okay. Even your sister can do it. Pour the butter and heat the frying pan. Grandma, give me one too. It doesn't seem to be pouring. Why does so little oil come out? I'll shake the bottle. Mm, I think I broke it. Oh, Jane. Okay. Grandma can already start cooking. I'll break two eggs like this. And I'll break it. Okay. Oh, how so? I'm so sloppy. No one cooks eggs like this anymore. That's what I'll do. First, I'll warm up the cream. I'll add orange zest and secret ingredient to them. With its help, the dish will turn out the same as in the best restaurants. And now, I'll chop the peaches and add the special substance of molecular cuisine to them. It's time to create some culinary magic. And fry molecular eggs. Let's pour it on a pan, and there we go. Wow, I've seen this on YouTube! Jane, be careful! Oh, my eggs! Everything is on fire! What a nightmare! Yeah, baby Glory won't stay hungry anyway. Grandma's eggs look very appetizing. Yes, Jane, you have no chance at this round. And will baby Gloria like molecular cuisine? We'll find out right now. Hmm, where should I start? I wanna try this one. Yeah, not bad. Okay. And what is this? No. I won't try it. Hey, you. Hmm. Such unusual eggs. Wow. It's sweet. It's so good. I like it. I choose this one. <laughs> I knew that. Grandma, come on. I want to eat a sandwich. Yeah. Of course, dear. Okay. I'm glad to cook. <laughs> A sandwich is easy. I always eat toast with Nutella. Only this time, I'm going to do something better. I'll add more toppings. My favorite marshmallows, strawberry chocolate bars, and sweet and sour marmalade tongues. Mm, how delicious it turned out. But it seems to me that this sandwich lacks something else. Oh yeah? Sweet gel and sour fizzy candies. What a great idea I came up with. Original. But I think it's better to stick to the traditional recipe. Mustard, ham, cheese, lettuce leaves… Put everything together. And now you can fry the sandwich until crisp on both sides. No, Grandma! Bread should be fried first! And only then add the filling. After all, it should not be hot. And now, the main exquisite delicacy are snails. What? Snails? What a stink! What a smell! It smells like Paris! And now you can put it on a plate. I'll add seafood. Oh, great! And finally, I'll add cheese with mold. Oh, grandma is getting sick! This is culinary masterpiece. Unbelievable. I've outdone myself. I'll have a nice sandwich too. Oh, the chocolate has melted. But I know what can be done. We need to take a bowl of water and pour more ice into it. And now you can draw patterns with chocolate. And it'll freeze in any shape. 
I saw this live hack on TikTok. Oh, good girl. Let's do it. Such different participants and such different sandwiches. What will Gloria choose? We'll find out right now. What a sweet little heart! What kind of sandwich is this? Oh, what an unpleasant teeth it has! Oh, it's nails! Who thought of putting that? The sandwich is so beautiful! A wonderful chocolate heart! Mm, how delicious! I like a sweet sandwich! Well, this sandwich looks ordinary. Let's try it. How oh, yummy! It's better than everyone else's! I choose this as a winner! Yes! Grandma cooked 